Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Monday. It is May 11th. It is day 52 of thinking of thinking, understanding fear, finding joy out of suffering. And it's day four of Master Yourself. This is the day in the online course where majority of participants come completely unraveled. Because every day in the online course, I ask the uh, participants to respond back to me answering three questions. What are you grateful for? What are you going to do? And then a unique question every day for the 91 days. Today's question is, what is true about yourself today that would make your eight-year-old self cry? What is true about yourself today that would make your eight-year-old self cry? Such a powerful question because it takes us right back to our root. It takes us back to where it all began. And in a lot of my coaching clients, one of the questions I always ask them if they're you know experiencing destructive behavior and they're really struggling or they're allowing toxic people to control their life I ask them about their kids what would your kids tell you what would your son tell you what would your daughter tell you there's an innocence in youth that is so powerful and a lot of the times we forget that so today being day four of master yourself I want to carry on from what I talked about yesterday some of the things that are essential to gain control over yourself, over your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, to be able to achieve whatever you want to achieve. And one of the biggest things is really establishing a practice that keeps you connected. Personally, I don't know how anyone can get through adversity, suffering, challenges, trauma, without a connection to a higher power. I just can't see it. Because without that connection to the divine, how could you even understand that there's a bigger purpose for you, that there's a bigger purpose for all of us? And I'm not saying God, again, it's, it's you know, whether it's God, nature, universe, the divine, we all have different definitions. But I really feel that connection to source is so essential. Because when we have a connection to source, we're able to control a lot of those mental paradigms and mental blocks that we all have. The second step in, in mastering yourself is learn to pay attention to what you need. Not what you want, what you need. Very different. Then, as you go through, you will have that ability to learn how to overrule your mind. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes. There's that element of, dear self, I understand what you're trying to say, but I love you, but it's allowed to be like fear. It's allowed to be in the car. It's just not allowed to play with the buttons, but it can be there. And then the last is loving yourself being kind, being compassionate, being accepting, being yourself. It's really easy to get hung up on being a human doing and getting better all the time. But sometimes we need to remind ourselves that it's okay to be just as we are. Sometimes a victim, sometimes a mess, sometimes pathetic. That's okay too. Because that adds that much needed softness that we are in charge of our own lives and our own selves. We are that beautiful mess that makes us human. So until tomorrow, there's enough snow on the ground that I could go build a snowman. I'm not gonna do that. I love you all. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until tomorrow, be kind to yourself and to others.